she's a mother so she decided to reconcile with ella because she fucking finally understood the sanctity of life or some shit and ella wants nothing to do with that right because a well, lore uh, and it's just like what the fuck dude i just want to shoot people <laughs> yeah that's Meanwhile, oh. let's go. Let's go back here and have a look at. Uh, at since you mentioned Sledge, let's look at what what's Sledge's bio. Uh, it might have changed, but when I first started the game, it was Sledge is a big dude with a hammer. He's uh, from Scotland. Born in the far north of Scotland, his military father and nurse mother moved to Inverness with him and his three siblings when he was five. His athleticism elevated him to the position of captain in the 1998 under 20s rugby union team. Blah blah blah. <clears throat> um, his drive and physique. Uh, suit the division's historical nickname of Ironsides. He developed b various breaching tactics. He then recruited into the SAS, where he holds multiple records in speed and strength. Expert in mechanical, ballistic, explosive, and thermal breaching strategies. He's the upper to choose for quick and silent, relatively silent destruction. Yep. He's he's a dude who who played rugby and hits things with a hammer. Yeah. That's that's so, it. <clears throat> so the the later the later operators are particularly bad. Um, so, let's see. Who was good? Uh, Mozzie and Gridlock were both, in my opinion, good operators lore-wise. Their gadgets are a little out there, but, like, whatever, I can look past it. Their lore is basically, uh, they were in the army, they fought fires together, they were buddies, they joined the special, the Australian SAS, and it was good. I don't, it's like, fuck, that's great, okay, cool. Uh, man, Lord, Bucks, Lord, Lord, Bucks Lord is nice not. and short. Yeah, I love Bucks. Bucks is a my Montreal favorite. Native. He always <laughs> wanted to lead unconventional life. He enrolled in the armed forces via the uh, ROT plan, uh, which allowed him to attend university and obtain a degree in chronology. After graduation, he became an MP in the Canadian Army. When his time in the Army was completed, he joined the Mounted Police and eventually became part of the emergency response team. And then he was invited by the military to re up and become a member of JTF2. There you which go. Is like, Bucks is, like, the perfect bio, in my opinion. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, here is the thing, what he wanted, what, like, why he got into this stuff. Here are yeah. the military things he went into. And then he ended up in this because he was invited because he was good. Yeah. That's uh, solid. Let's see. Warden, Warden's lore is pretty good, you know? secret. He was Secret Service. Like, what, what more do you fucking want? His gadget's stupid as hell, <laughs> but whatever. Uh... Kaid's uh, lore is a little weird, but whatever. So Vigil's Vigil's lore is basically uh, read between the lines. He's from North Korea, right? Like he's from North Korea. He escaped to South Korea, and like that's why he is the way he is. Um, he's a little. He's a little. He's a little bit of an edge lord, but you know, whatever. It's to be. It's understandable. Uh, you know who's got bad lore like that? Fucking Nook. Nook <laughs> has dog shit lore. They basically were like, let's just make Kavera a spooky bitch on attack. Uh, she's so badass. No one knows anything about her. Even though, like, the fucking Danish Jaeger Corps is, like, not this fucking super secret high speed operator bullshit. The only thing like, I feel when I pull the trigger is the <laughs> car. <laughs> like, holy fuck! Some, <laughs> some fucking 20-something-year-old hipster from fucking Montreal was like, I need to make someone that sounds really badass. This is going to be the most badass operator we've ever made. I have no, I have no exposure to the military. How do I make, oh, I'm just going to make everything redacted because she's so fucking badass. No one knows, no one knows anything about, not even her face. They don't know what her face looks like. That's how <laughs> badass she is. And she's so stone cold. She says the thing. She says the fucking, the <laughs> fucking boot shit. She's like, she's fucking fresh out of goddamn boot camp. She's probably got her fucking, the only thing I feel is to pull the trigger is recoil. Fucking tramp stamp on her. <laughs> but you wouldn't know, because it's fucking redacted. It's so stupid. It's her, so tramp her tramp stamp is actually just the word redacted. <laughs> oh my god, I want to die. <laughs> Nook's lore actually almost made me quit this fucking game. I was so mad when I fucking opened the shit during Phantom Sight, and that's what I saw. Cause, ah, uh, fuck. And after that, I just kind of gave up. 